universal serial bus and usually called USB and we are much aware of it everyone knows what is USB so let's uh, get into the detail and in uh, 9596 how it actually evolved Compaq, DEC, IBM, Intel, Microsoft, NEC joined by HP, the Lucent and Philips they got together and they designed the USB why why and what is the intent for USB you know all of these were there why USB the USB was created out of a need for universal communication between devices you know for everything you have to have different devices so let's have a common device for all connection so the problem was that the computer designers were literally running out of room there has to be some jacks ports there are so many things which are available uh, and um, which needs to be put by the designers so before the USB every new computer device needed a different serial ports there were uh, different ports and you know if you see a normal computer at that time the back side was filled with all these connectors what is the advantage of USB USB is cost effective this is a floppy drive this is a USB and USB is power efficient it has universal design it means one fits all resistance to scratches and dust convenient and the size is already small what are the disadvantages the disadvantages is the size and it breaks it gone that means the size says that being too small leaves some devices to be easily misplaced now we have devices uh, USB devices as small as our nails maybe smaller than that and it breaks it's gone means compared to some CDs that can be repaired once crash to retrieve data USB once they fail the data cannot be retrieved so how this USB works the computer would decide which kind of data the device uses that means interrupt low data transfer keyboard or mouse bulk large amount of data printer or external hard device or isochronous that means stream data microphones or speakers so how this works the process of recording or modifying the information into a desired format or pattern is encoding and this is when the two devices communicate and configure to which form of data transmission should be used because so ultimately and the ultimate goal was to transfer data so there has to be an encoding and the transmission was to convey information from the device to another location and this can be simple as typing a few keys on the keyboard or transferring large amount of data like you have pictures music and related to this and then receiving one is transmitting the other has to receive so receiving is recognizing the uh, and accepting the information from uh, transition and collecting the inputs and readies them uh, for the storage in the USB so this would be where the typed keys would be displayed onto the screen or stored in a word document or any other document the versatility of USB uh, you know it can be incorporated into just about anything you have toys now cameras phones speaker everywhere you have USBs instruments microphone lights cooling fans so the evolution how does it took place the USB started with 1.0 and 1.1 the maximum transfer rate was 12 mbps so it first appeared in market in 1995 and 1998 the maximum uh, transfer rate was uh, you know at that time 12 mbps was quite enough then came high speed usb or usb 2.0 uh, it gave speed of 480 mbps you see you have 12 mbps and it increased multiple fold and went to 480 mbps in 2000 then came usb 3.0 and the speed is 5 gbps it has already been released actually so what will be the future of uh, usb it will be wireless usb so connection you will have the same personal security of wired usb 2.0 and you have a wireless usb so thank you so much the ppt is from aaron specked